Good day! In this video, you're going to learn how to write a ionic compound formula. In three easy steps. First, write the symbol of the element. Second, assign the charges of the element. And third, perform the crisscross method. Let's have first the binary ionic compound. For example, we have sodium chloride. Now, let's follow the three easy steps. First, write the symbol of the element. Sodium symbol is Na. Chlorine symbol is Cl. Next to that, step number two, assign the charges of the element. Sodium is positive 1 and chlorine is negative 1. If you are not still familiar with the symbols and charges or oxidation number of the element, you must get a periodic table as your reference. So let's proceed with the third step, crisscross method. How to do the crisscross method? Okay, just like that. It simply means that the charges of sodium and chlorine will be exchanged. Sodium will carry the negative one and chlorine will carry the positive one. Hence, the chemical formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. Why there is no numbers in the formula? Because it is understood that 1 is an imaginary number. It is not needed to be written. Let's have another example. We have calcium bromide. Now, we are going to follow the three easy steps. First, again, write the symbol of the elements. Calcium, we have Ca. Bromine, we have Pr. Okay, next is the second step. Assign the charges of the elements. What is the sign of our calcium? Calcium is, based on your periodic table, calcium mass positive 2. How about bromine? It is negative 1. Then right after, perform the crisscross method. As our third step. What is again the crisscross method? Just simply exchange the charges of our calcium and bromine. Hence, bromine will have 2 and calcium will have 1. As you can observe, the positive sign is being removed because it will be no longer as a charge but as a subscript of the compound or element. Therefore, our final formula for calcium bromide is CaBr2. Now let's have another example. We have here ferric oxide. Now let's go back with the first step. Write the symbol of the elements. We have ferric that is an iron then oxide is an oxygen. Now let's have the second step. Assign the charges of the elements. Take note, iron has two charges, positive 2 and positive 3. Now identify which one of these charges is being used by iron in this compound. Now recall and always remember the suffixes OUS and IC. The suffix OUS is for lower oxidation number and the suffix IC is for higher oxidation number. Now let's go back with our formula, ferric oxide. As you can see, we have here the IC. In other word, iron used the positive 3 oxidation number. Then the charge of our oxygen based on the ferric table is negative 2. Now, third step, let's perform now the crisscross method. Again, iron positive 3 and oxygen negative 2 will be exchanging its charges. Iron will carry the negative 2 and oxygen will carry the positive 3. Therefore, the formula for ferric oxide is F2 
Oh, three. Now let's have an example for ternary ionic compound. We have here aluminum sulfate. It is a ternary ionic compound because sulfate is a polyatomic ion. Now let's have the first step. Write the symbol of the element. Aluminum Al Sulfate is SO4. Again, if you're not familiar with the symbols of the elements or compound, just get a periodic table as your reference. Second step, assign the charges of the elements. Aluminum is positive 3 and sulfate is negative 2. Okay. After assigning the charges of the elements, we can now proceed to step 3, the crisscross method. Again, let's perform the crisscross method. Okay, this O4 will have the positive 3 and then AL will have the negative 2. Then, don't forget to remove the positive and negative sign because it is now our subscript. Now, the chemical formula for aluminum sulfate is Al2 SO4 parenthesis 3. Again, Al2 SO4 parenthesis 3 is aluminum sulfate. Let's have our next example. We have ferrous bicarbonate. Again, let's follow our steps. First step, write the symbol of the elements. We have ferrous, that is iron, and then bicarbonate is HCO3 Okay Again, if you're not familiar with the symbol in the signs, kindly refer to your periodic table Now let's have our step 2 Assign the charges of the elements Ferrous, take note that it is using OUS and OUS is positive 2 the lowest oxidation number of iron and the sign for our HCO3 is negative 1. Again, Fe positive 2 is ferrous, the lowest oxidation number of iron. Fe positive 3 is ferric, the highest oxidation number. Now, let's go with the third step, crisscross method. Again here, the charges of our iron and bicarbonate will be exchanged. Hence, positive 2 will become the subscript of our bicarbonate and the negative sign of our bicarbonate will be the charge of our iron or it will become its subscript take note since it is negative one therefore we don't need to write it in the formula then the chemical formula for our ferrous bicarbonate is FeHCO3 parenthesis 2 got it very good. Moving on with our next example, we have beryllium sulfide. Again, let's follow our three easy steps. Step 1, write the symbol of the element. Beryllium is Be. Sulfide is SO3. Again and again. We are not familiar with the symbol and the oxidation number of the compound or element, kindly refer to your periodic table. Now let's have step 2, assign the charges of the element. So beryllium, there is positive 2. And our sulfide, SO3, is negative 2. Okay, now let's proceed with our third step. But in this case, instead of 
having the crisscross method, we can just easily cancel it out because positive 2 plus negative 2 just equals to 0. Again, if you can see if our charges is just the same, like for example, positive 2, negative 2, or positive 1, negative 1, just cancel it out. Therefore, our formula for beryllium sulfide is BeSO3. Okay, as you can see, there is no parenthesis in it because we don't have any subscript to separate from 3. Okay, that's the use of our parenthesis. Now it's your turn. Kindly get your periodic table if you are not familiar with the symbols and the oxidation number of the elements or the compounds.